everyone and welcome back and if you're new here hi welcome join the enthusiasm subscribe so in today's video i am going to create this look so i started from a really shabby me which is me almost 90 percent of the time except when i shoot videos and i transformed into this 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 so it took me almost 40 minutes to transform into this like hair makeup everything i got this new hair color and i found a perfect makeup look that goes well with this hair color and i thought why not shoot a tutorial on this so from now on you will see me a lot in this look and yes so without any further chatting let's get into the video all right so i'm starting from scratch and my scratch actually looks like scratch I'm just taking these clips and first of all we're going to do the face that is the makeup so I have to clip my hair out of my face and just because I want to see how much time this transformation takes I am going to just today I am going to use this Smashbox primer water and I'm just going to spray it all over my face Also, I've got like a pimple over here and I did cut myself over here. My face is a disaster right now. Alright, so the next step is getting the glow for which I am using this Master Strobing Cream by Maybelline. So next is foundation and contour and as you guys know I don't like applying foundation all over my face. So obviously I'm going to use the super stay full coverage foundation in golden. This is my skin tone. It's like my skin tone is captured in a bottle. So yes, um, it matches me that good. So I will be mainly applying this where I have hyperpigmentation to cover that up and also my dark circles. Um, you can obviously use a color corrector if you want, but right now my dark circles are not the worst. Now next I'm going to set my face with the sugar set the tone tinted powder and I use the slightest amount of powder on my sponge. I don't like baking at all. I hate it because it's not made for my skin. It makes my skin really dry and it looks really cakey so I just don't bake. So I just take a little bit of powder this much and just tap off the excess. So let's get to the eyes and for my eyes I'm going to use this palette and I'm going to use this shade first. This is called Cookie and the palette is the Roxy into Revolution Ride or Die palette. But before my eyeshadow I'm going to use my eyeshadow primer. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus eyeshadow primer and I'm just going to take a little bit on the back of my hand. So next I'm going to use the shade Ariel over here. It's reddish kind of a shade and I'm just packing it in. So 
So for my eyeliner, I'm using the Nykaa Wing in a Blink eyeliner. So next I'm just going to take the shade Yas from the same palette and I'm going to apply this on my brow bone. By the way for mascara I'm using the Hypercurl Volume Express by Maybelline because this is the only mascara that I have which has not expired. Alright, so I'm just going to use these Alch eyelashes. The style and everything will be in the description. And in fact, all the product names will be in the description. This is ruining my nails. I just painted my nails right before shooting this video. So... Now, before applying eyelashes, I'm going to line my upper and lower lash line. And for that, I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Coal Crayon. And again, this is a deep brown shade matching my hair color. So I'm just using all that's matching my hair color. So lashes are on and now it's time for some bronzer and for that I'm using the LA Colors Pressed Powder in the shade Toffee. And this is enough, like I don't want a very harsh contour so I'm just using this. So for blush, I'm using the Miss Claire Baked Blusher and this one is in 02. This has got like a shine to it. It's more like a blush topper. Like look at that, it gives you a nice glow. Next, let's come to the lips and today I think I will be doing dark lips. So no nude. Alright, so I'm using this Blue Heaven Elegance Matte Lip Color in uh, 05. I think I'm going to use this. This is the Nykaa Molten Matte in the shade Rachel. So my hair, I washed my hair today and it's a little bit frizzy as you can see. It's not very frizzy, it's just a little bit frizzy. So let me zoom you out first. So first of all, I'm going to divide it into sections. I have very fine hair and very thin hair. I think I'm going to curl it. This is the comb that I'm using. And make sure that if you have thick hair, you just straighten it out before curling it. That will just, you know, make it look really good. And you will not set tangles in place with heat. By the way, we're at... 25 minutes so it took me almost 25 minutes to do this whole glam look my camera is really working today so I either use a curler or a straightener I use both for curling my hair so today I think I'm going to use this curler this is the VNG Salon Professional I got this from Amazon it was like cheap and it works so I have this curler and then I have a straightener um, this is a Philips straightener. This is almost a couple of years old and yes, so this is the straightener that I use to curl my hair. But today I think I'm going to use a curler or a straightener. So this curler has got different temperatures to which you can set it. I generally heat it up to 170 degrees centigrade but you can actually increase the temperature if you have thick hair. And the most important thing before curling your hair is using a heat protector. So I'm just using this Tony and Guy heat protection mist. And I'm just going to spray it 
just kind of diffusing it with my hair especially the ends you guys because that's the most damaged part now i got my hair um, colored but i didn't chop it off because i was just liking my hair like this so i didn't chop it off i'm taking my comb and i'm just going like this you just detangle it really nicely and then you just take your curler i just curl this away from my hair and i want really loose beachy curls so or beach curls waves what do you call them so i just leave the end straight as it is so this is the type of curl that, that i generally prefer and then two more sections Now, if you are quite patient during this whole process, it's going to take almost like 10 to 15 minutes. But if you hurry, you're just going to mess up everything. Now, yes, I am calling this one towards my face. going to be the front hair this is going to be the most important part so I am going to curl this away from my face so this is how I do it I just go like horizontal to my head so that I get a little bit of volume over here oh I got this hair color because you know um, this sort of hair color is actually quite in trend warm tones are actually coming in now and that platinum blonde and all of those cool tones are actually going out now so I thought that I'll just get something that's very much warm tone but yes um, this is the perfect hair color for me it matches my skin tone perfectly you guys and plus also I've never done something like red before with my hair so this is a very reddish kind of a brown shade actually there are two tones in my hair it's not just a reddish brown there were two tones that I chose now to my hairdresser I think that is what you call them I told him that you should mix the two colors so well that a difference it is not visible but still it kind of looks like a balayage so you can see um there are two tones but both of the tones are not visible but they are kind of working together to make this hair color popping it just takes a little bit of time you guys 10 minutes at most maybe for me but if you are someone who is doing it for the first time like for the first time when i did curls you guys i took almost an hour even more than that all right so once your hair is curled it should look something like this if you have a hair type like me so I'm just going to soften these curls out using my finger now, as you can see I do not have a lot of volume in this area like my crown area so I'm just going to add some volume and for that obviously I'm going to back comb my hair I'm just taking a section of hair I'm kind of back combing it this is the Schwarzkopf Taft Power Hair Lacquer I think that's how you pronounce that brand I still don't know how to pronounce that brand but yes I'm just spraying a little bit of this hair lacquer then I'm just leaving it and I'm doing the same on this side Teasing it a little bit. I just need a tiny bit of teasing and that's it. Volume in this area. 
and if you have frizzy hair you can just spray this on your hair and just go like this although I don't have a lot of frizz today so yeah so it took me almost 41 minutes to do this whole thing so my hair can hold curls for a fairly good amount of time but if your hair cannot hold curls then I think you should use um, something like a setting spray for your hair and uh, that will just make the curls lo last longer. So this is the completed transformation. I did it in almost 40 minutes and I hope you like this video. It was kind of a therapy for me. So and also I was searching for a good makeup look that goes with this hair. So yes, this is it. Um, I tried so many but none of them were like looking good so i ended up with this and i think it looks so good especially the dark ombre kind of lips that i have right now so yes that's it for the video if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel i'll see you in my next video and till then bye